Thomas Alive Today presents Horns Restaurants. In the early 1930s, Bob Horn and his family owned and operated Horn's Beauty Rest Cabins, a motel located near Jacksonville, Florida. When Horn was 22, he began working at a Stuckey's in Eastman, Georgia, where he made his own candy for the restaurant. After a few years working there, he decided to create his own restaurant and candy shop. On October 4, 1948, Bob Horn founded his first store, located a short distance from the Beauty Rest Cabin. The original concept was to have the stores along major highways and sell candies, nuts, and souvenirs to travelers. Bob Horn's father Alton Irving Horn became secretary of the company. In 1950, Horn's Enterprises began a $2 million expansion plan after selling 235,000 shares of common stock of the company. The expansion also saw the addition of a 25-seat counter grill to many of the restaurants. The grills would later be known as Circus Grills because of their circus-inspired theme. As he expanded the chain, Horn started to include other amenities to attract tourists along the highway. He later added motels to many of the restaurants to create Horn's Motor Lodge and Restaurant. On May 7, 1953, the company was incorporated in Florida as Horn's of Baird Incorporated. By 1956, eight years after being founded, the chain had expanded to 17 locations in eight states. Horn also began having his restaurant's roofs painted bright yellow to attract customers, and erecting tall signs outside the restaurants to be seen from the highway. In 1963, over 1,250 signs had been built along the highway to advertise Horns. By the time Horn was 30, he was a millionaire. By 1963 Horns had 44 units mostly along the eastern seaboard. During the same year, Horn's sales rose to $9.2 million, an increase from $5.7 million during the previous year. Horn sold a variety of meals, including the Circus Burger which was a hamburger with coleslaw. Another popular item was the fried chicken. Horns also served charbroiled hamburgers, steak, home-baked pecan pies, and breakfast all day long. The candies sold included pecan rolls, pralines, 42 varieties of kettle fresh candies, and chocolates. In 1964, the Greyhound Corporation purchased nearly all the chain stock from Bob Horn for $14 million. Harold L. Lumpkins, controller of much of Horn's stock, said, This is primary to enable Horns to expand at a more rapid rate. Greyhound has all the money they need and are looking for diversification and we are looking for expansion. When Horn sold his company, he had 55 restaurants in 15 states. After the purchase by Greyhound, John W. Teats became president of the enterprise. Several years after selling the restaurant chain, Horn would later go on to develop Powder Horn Mountain in Watauga County, North Carolina with his wife, Penny. Greyhound placed Horns under the Greyhound Food Management Incorporated subsidiary. In 1965 there were 60 Horns restaurants and 6 motor lodges. In 1965, Horns along with Post House Restaurants, another subsidiary of Greyhound, were serving 275 million meals a year. After only a few years of ownership, on April 30, 1969, Greyhound sold Horns to Formco, who owned the Stand and Snack chain. When Stand and Snack acquired Horns from Greyhound, the company had 19 franchised motor lodges. After the purchase, the headquarters of Horns was moved to Topeka, Kansas, but it continued to operate as a separate entity from Stand and Snack. In 1967 the original Horns Beauty Rest Cabin closed, but later reopened as Baird Antique Village, which remains open today. In the late 1960s, Horns expanded into Canada, where three branches were built. By the late 1970s, highway travel became less profitable for the chain and it began to lose business. On April 29, 1980, Key Energy Enterprises acquired six Horns locations in Florida. In 1981, the Atlantic National Bank took over Horns International Incorporated, ending the Horns chain. In 1982, the last company-owned restaurant closed. By 1986, the trademark on Horns Motor Lodge restaurant had expired. As of August 2023, the company operates one location in Virginia. The Port Royal, Virginia Horns which still features almost all of the original designs and look of the restaurant is the last true remaining restaurant of the former chain. It also serves as a tourist destination for travelers and families stationed at Fort A.P. Hill. 
This location was built in 1960 and still features the original equipment used for making the milkshakes. In Florence, South Carolina, a former horn still bearing the name but with no connection to the original restaurant remained open until 2013. None of the horn's motor lodges remain open today. The last motel to close its doors, in Ocala, Florida, was demolished in early December 2014. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.